hello everyone good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all from wherever you're watching me from thank you so much this is your friend jennifer Obumudia. i'm just here to say a big thank you and to appreciate every one of you that has been coming to my house that has been supporting my channel and say that may the lord god almighty bless you i am so grateful i am so 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 grateful I cannot thank you enough at all. I just want to use this little video to say thank you to for you to know that I appreciate every little support that you are giving. May the Lord bless you. I am grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you for always watching my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for the likes. And thank you for the wonderful comments I am receiving daily. Oh my God. It's so, so amazing. You know, when I read some of the comments, I'm like, wow. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. My family, I am grateful. I am indeed grateful. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, every one of you. And I continue as I continue to pray for you all that God will keep us together. God will cause his continents to shine upon us. God will make us to achieve our goal. The grace, the grace and the mercies of God will always speak for us in high places. I thank you all. I just want to use this opportunity once again to, to remind as many that are still hard that will be coming across this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please, it will cost you nothing. You don't have any, you don't have to pay it's free most people most people think that they maybe they have to pay or they'll be taking something out of their money from their phone every month but it's not true it's just free so feel free to join the family if you have not subscribed feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will like it here where all the channels are about is the music you know as you know music is is a medicine to the soul you know, so whenever you you feel down, whenever you're not you're not yourself, you can just throw back to the to my channel and listen to some some music there. And by the time you are going, I'm sure I am very sure of that that you will go happy. Okay, so feel free to join the family, subscribe to my channel, press the red button, and put on the notification button as well, so that whenever I upload a video you will be the first to be notified thank you so much compliment of the season to every one of you oh my god it's december finally and you see before we know it is 20 is 20 days and at the end of the month so i want to say thank you to god almighty who has been pro, who has been protecting each and every one of us and i want to appreciate him as well for his mercies and his grace and i pray that the year that is ahead of us will be greater than this year that is just going by. And I know that so many people will be are down now because of the situation, because of the coronavirus. So many people have plans that they wanted to do, things that were lined up that they wanted to do. But at the end of the day, they were not able to do it, not because they were not physically fit, but because of the situation, the restriction of movements from one place to another has really caused a lot of havoc. And, then, and as a result of that, some, 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 somebody out there might be thinking now, oh my God, it's December. I have not been able to achieve anything. I cannot account of what I did this year. I just want to remind you <laughs> that you are in December. One is already a, 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 a blessing to you. Secondly, you are in December and you are going into the year 2021. So many people started this year with us. So many. So many started this year with us. But today, there are not more. We cannot even we cannot even trace them back. So many people have gone with the year. They didn't when the year was starting, they didn't think that we are going to hand their, their life to coronavirus. Or to one sickness or the other it just came so we are grateful and I want you to be to know that God is faithful even in situations that that, that are not so good God is still faithful because if you look at the situation if you look at what has happened so many people 
did not survive it, but you survived it. <laughs> so many people could not come up to even sit down and say, what have I achieved or to make account of what they've achieved. But you are sitting down, you're making account, which means you are preparing for the year ahead. You, you thank God you've realized that, okay, this year there was no much done. But it gives you the opportunity to prepare yourself for the next year that is ahead. <laughs> okay? Because what has passed by is already by. What is behind you should be, should be left behind you. And you should press on forward, looking unto the high calling of the Lord. Looking onto those things that are ahead of you and forgetting about the mistakes, forgetting about what you should have done that you did not do. Forget it, leave it at the back and plan ahead of the new year that is ahead of you. So don't, don't keep yourself in doubt. Don't keep yourself in that state that, oh my God, I should have done this or I should have done that or I should have done this. No, just, just relax, okay? Relax and leave everything for God. God, the God we serve, the God we serve is faithful. He's faithful. He's so faithful to his to, to the call. He's faithful. He knows how to turn <laughs> he knows how to turn situations around in our favor. Under the twinkle of an eye. You can't believe it. Our God is so powerful. God is so so faithful. Look, did you know the story of of the of the Israelite in the in the land of Egypt. If you remember that story, how God took them out of the land of Egypt and they were before the Red Sea and the people the, the, the enemy was chasing after them like but what happened God made the Red Sea to deep to part into two that is what God can that is God for you he made the Red Sea to part into two Ever since we have not noticed any of such miracles, God made it to part into two. And the children of Israel that walked on a dry land in the midst of the sea. Jesus. So whatever situation you are going through now, you might be that you are in the midst of the sea. But God will surely make a way out. So I don't want you to give up. Don't give up. Don't start regretting. No, don't give room to the devil. As a matter of fact, the truth of the matter is, whatever you think of yourself, that is the, what the enemies will work with. What If you think yourself to be a failure, the enemies will work with it. If you think yourself to be a success, that is what God will work with. So whatever you give to both of them, that is what they work with for your life. So don't give room to regret. Don't give room to fear. Don't give room to doubt. Don't give room to, I should have done, I should have done, I shouldn't have done, or I should have done this. They are all gone now. The one that is gone, you cannot correct it. But you can correct the one that is ahead. So this is my little advice to you. As you are watching this video, be encouraged. Be, be, be encouraged. Come alive. Shake off yourself. Shake off the dust. Shake off the beast into the fire. The word of God is living in me. I know the truth and he can set me free. I'm going to shake up the beast into the fire. Shake up the beast out. When you don't, there are some certain situations that you don't understand. You don't need to seek to understand it. Just, just, just worship God. Just praise him in such situations. Just praise him. Like when this coronavirus came, nobody knew. How it's going? What is happening? Why the sickness is so so dang, so dangerous and killing a lot of people? But our own as Christians, as children of God, is to pray and to praise. That is the that is the 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 two keys that we have: praise and pray, praise and pray, praise and pray. We don't have any other <laughs> any other thing that we do that we can hold on to or any anyone to run to is only god and the only thing that moves god is your praises not your not your tears our tears doesn't move god yes what i mean i i'm not sure i'm not saying that god is not concerned about our tears i am telling you that the moment you come to the understanding that if i praise god through this situation it's going to change Instead of crying through it, 
I pray, I choose to praise God through it. That's what I do. I don't cry in situations. I don't complain in situations. Instead, I dance and I sing. And when I start dancing and singing, even my children will be like, what is she dancing for? What is she happy for? Mommy, stop. I just told them that, look, if you know the power of praise, you wouldn't tell me to stop. You will just jump in and join me to, 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 to dance. So this is my little advice to you guys. As the year is coming to an end, praise him. Pray more. Commit the year that is ahead of you into the hands of God. Tell him, throw your programs. Lay it before him and dance to it for your sources. Dance ahead, pray ahead of that which you want him to do for you. And you will see the hand of God working for you. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. And just in case you have not given your life to God, to Christ, what are you waiting for? He's a friend. He's a friend to everyone. So choose him to be your best friend. Come close to him. The book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12 says, There is no name given among men whereby a man should be, will be saved. Which means it is only in the name of Jesus. There is no salvation in any other place. Or only in the name of Jesus. So why not accept him as your Lord and personal Savior? Why not try him and see if there will be a change? And I guarantee you, there will be a change. I will be coming up with some of my stories. Some of the things that I have experienced. Some of the things that God, you know, that God has done for me. And how I come about it. I'll be coming your way with it. So you'll be encouraged. Remember that this channel is all about encouragement, about the word of God, about prayers, about uh, gospel music, where you can, you can feed your spirit with, with anointed songs direct from the throne of God. That is what uh, this channel is about, where we can interact where we can share our problems. If you have any problem, you can share it. You know, we will support ourselves. If you need any help in any way, if there's any way we can help you, you can come up, we'll, we'll, we'll come together as a family and we help ourselves. That is what the, bo the, the body of Christ is about. So feel free to give your life to God. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I am a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. I accept you into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. I will not go back to sin again. Forgive me for all the sins and wash me with your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life in Jesus' name. And that is done. It's, it's so simple. You don't need to take goat. You don't need to take cow to anywhere. It's as simple as the, in fact, the simplicity in, in, the, in the things of God makes it to be so difficult for people to believe that no this can't be true but it's true because he's not going to ask you go and bring your father go and bring your mother for sacrifice go and bring your first son go and bring your second son as the the the, the enemy will do no all he's asking is my son give me your heart that is all he's asking if you give him your heart today he's able to see you through is able to see you through because God is concerned about our soul and I am concerned about your soul too. So please, if you have not given your life to God, as you are watching this video, those prayers I just said just now, just say it with me and read your Bible in from the book of Romans chapter 10. If you read from this, just read. If I were you, I will read all the verses. But the, the main verses is the salvation verses from 9 10 and 11 so if you read it you will see where it says if you believe in your heart that jesus christ was was raised from the dead and confess it with your mouth you will be saved that is the criteria for salvation that is only the criteria if anybody's asking you for money bring one thousand bring five hundred dollars bring 20 pounds bring fifteen hundred five hundred pounds for you to be saved is a lie the only criteria for salvation is when you call, when you believe in your heart and you confess it with your mouth. So believing and confessing, because you believe in your heart is in your heart. So you have to declare it out. You have to say it out. 
you're saying it out you are making it bold to the devil that look from today i don't belong to your kingdom and once the devil hears that he keep up and god take over so give your life to god you will enjoy it you will not regret it he's a faithful god okay he's a faithful god he's so so faithful he's so so faithful he's so faithful and for that situation you are thinking that it's too late the same god is a god of the last minute when the children of Israel was before that 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 see they didn't know what we were going to do Moses cried to God and said God what are we going to do and God said why are you crying to me stretch your rod so what what Moses actually needed to do was already with him he was already holding it with him so that thing that you think you have lost is still in your hands <laughs> That, that very thing you think you have lost, you have not lost it. That thing you think you've lost this year, 2020, you didn't lose it at all. It's still there in you. Okay? It's still there in you. But prepare yourself to explode with it. So prepare yourself. And the only way you can explode with it is when you walk in, walk in connection with God. It's only when you walk side by side with Him. Side by side with Him. So accept Him as your Lord and Savior. And let him show you the way. <laughs> okay? Let him show you the way. He will ch definitely show you the way. I'll come your way some other time. Before then, I will leave you in the hands of God. I leave every one of you in the hand of the God Almighty who we serve. That he will continue to protect you and guide you. And prosper the works of your hands as well. Your family, you are secured. Your home is secured. Your marriage is secured. Your children are secured. In the name of Jesus, we will not weep over our children. We will not have any cause to run at us over our children. You are blessed. You are favored. You are lifted. May the hand of God rest upon you and rest upon your homes. In the name of Jesus, when you call for one help, thousands, millions will be ready to help you. Thank you so much for always being there, for always coming back to watch this or to watch my videos. May the Lord God Almighty continue to bless you. Before I, before I come your way next, stay blessed, stay safe, and keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. For those of you who have no God, who are into Him, who are into Christ, keep the fire burning. For you that is going to give your life to God, as you are listening to this video, I said, you are welcome to the family of Christ. You are welcome to God's kingdom. <laughs> you are welcome to God's kingdom. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you, men and brethren. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord prosper you. May the Lord shine his countenance upon you. It is well with you. Stay blessed. Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year to you and to your home. See you soon. Bye. Love you.